My name is Margaret Savage and I'm the Programme Coordinator for the Postgraduate Diploma in Environmental Protection. The programme is delivered online, covering quite a lot of areas and people who'd like to specialise then do that in the Masters. So the Masters involves a 30 credit thesis and people who achieve honours in the Postgraduate Diploma are eligible to move to the Masters to take that thesis. The normal entry requirements are that you'd have a level 8, that's an honours degree in science or engineering, or a level 7 degree in science or engineering with three years post-qualification experience that's relevant to the environment. The types of people who apply for the course are people who currently work in an environmental role or people who don't work in an environmental role. So the people who are in an environmental role are looking to expand their breadth of knowledge and upskill in areas that they wouldn't be familiar with. And the people who are outside of the environmental role have either come into that role in their career or wish to move into that role. So there's a very broad range of subjects. Career prospects are very, very varied here. We're talking about people going into industry in an environmental role. We're talking about people uh, going into regulatory organisations such as the EPA, local authorities, and people going to consultancy and also education from this. We have a very wide range of, of career choices out of the course. What makes our course unique, I think, well, first of all, we're the longest running distance learning course in the college. We also offer for subjects on a one-by-one -one basis, they're modular, so subjects deal with one subject and then move on to the next. We have site visits, which most of the participants really report has been one of the most interesting aspects of the course. So we go to relevant sites such as waste management facilities, wastewater treatment facilities and so on. Mm -hmm.